A probability model has two characteristics. First, it lists all the outcomes. So in this case, the spinner A's outcomes could either be a 1, 2, or a 5. The next thing the probability model tells you is the probability of all the outcomes. So since the 5 represents half the area, its probability must be 0.5. And these other two are a quarter of the area, so their probabilities are 0.25. Since all the outcomes for spinner A are listed, all the probabilities must sum to 1. Now there's only three values spinner A can land on, 1, 2, and 5. If spinner A lands on 1, its value can't be greater than spinner B's value, so there's zero probability of that happening. Now if spinner A lands on the number 2, and spinner B lands on the number 1, then spinner A would be greater than spinner B. So we need to determine what that probability is. Since spinner A and spinner B are independent, the probability that spinner A lands on the number 2 is 0.25. And the probability that spinner B lands on the number 1 is 1 8 or 0.125. So the probability of these two independent events happening is just their product. Now if spinner A lands on the number 5, there's four values spinner B could land on that would have spinner A still be greater than it the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's start by figuring out the probability that spinner A lands on 5 and spinner B lands on 1. Since they're independent, we can multiply the probability spinner A lands on 5, 0.5, by the probability that spinner B lands on 1, 0.125. So this is our probability of getting a 5, 1, a 5 for spinner A and a 1 for spinner B. Now since the probability of getting a 5 for spinner A and a 1 for spinner B is the same as getting a 5 for spinner A and a 2, 3, or 4 for spinner B, we can just copy the probability we got for the 5, 1 scenario. Or we can just multiply it by 4. It turns out the probability of getting a 5 on spinner A and then a 1, 2, 3, or 4 on spinner B is 0.25. So we're left with three probabilities. Our zero probability is the probability spinner A lands on a 1 and is greater than spinner B. Our 0 0.03125 probability is the probability spinner A lands on a 2 and is greater than spinner B, which happens if spinner B lands on a 1. And finally, our 0.25 probability is the probability spinner A lands on a 5 and is greater than spinner B, which happens if spinner B lands on a 1, 2, 3. 3, or 4. So if we add these three probabilities up, we have our total probability that spinner A lands on a value greater than spinner B. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.